This is John McHugh, and it is New Year's Day of uh, 2011. Uh, I just wanted to give information concerning my parents' uh, history. <clears throat> Most of this information is obviously from my memories and also <clears throat> information obtained from my sisters, uh, Mary and Eileen. Mary was nine years older than I, and Eileen was five years older than I. Um, my father was born in Westfield, Massachusetts in 1897. His father had emigrated from Ireland. His mother was French-Canadian. Uh, her maiden name was Provost, P-R-O-V-O-S-T. P -R -O -V -O -S -T. Uh, my father graduated from high school at Westfield, Massachusetts, he then went to pre-med in Valparaiso, Indiana. I have no idea how he ended up in Indiana. I was always puzzled why he would leave the beautiful uh, Berkshire Mountain area in Massachusetts to come to Indiana or Ohio, and I don't know the details. But he then went to medical school at the University of Louisville in Louisville, Kentucky, and graduated from medical school in 1921. My mother was born in Salem, Indiana in 1893. Her maiden name was Ketri, K-E-T-T-R-E-Y. I know very little about my mother's family. Her parents died quite young and she was raised by her father's sister, Aunt Bess. There were also a number of cousins that we frequently saw, Bob, Ruth, and John, who were the children of Aunt Bess. Their last name was uh, Simpson. I assume my mother graduated from Salem High School, and she then went to business school in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, and met my father there uh, where he was attending medical school. My parents were married in Shreveport, Louisiana in 1922. After medical school, my father became a public health doctor in Louisiana. He was in New Orleans and or Shreveport, Shreveport from 1922 to 1923. In late 1923, he became a coal mine doctor in ESCO, E-S-C-O, Kentucky. My sister was born there, and my sister Mary was born there in 1924. Mining town no longer exists. My father rode a horse at the time, and he uh, states there were frequent Saturday night, night fights and trauma after the miners were freed for the weekend. Apparently the Ku Klux Klan was also uh, active in uh, the area. My father uh, then came back to Shelby and practiced uh, with Dr. Leo Price, who also graduated uh, in his class from uh, medical school. They came to Shelby in 1925. They practiced on Water Street, which is the present location of a law office. It was in an old telephone building. Their telephone number was 3. The home number was 187. When my parents first moved to Shelby, they apparently lived in an apartment on Marvin Avenue along with Dr. Price and his family and the woman who owned the house. My sister states her name was Reminger, R-E-M-I-N-G-E-R. -E -E Mary uh, was with them at that time. Eileen was born in 1928 uh, and they lived at 50 Marvin Avenue at that time. I was born when they lived at 26 Marvin Avenue and they moved to uh, 63, did I say 26? They lived at 26 Marvin Avenue and then moved to 63 uh, Marvin Avenue when I was less than a year old. I lived there until I left home to go to college in 1951. I also moved there with my family after I returned. Uh, to Shelby to practice, and we lived there for several years. 
In looking over records, it appears a house at 63 Marvin was bought for $6,000 with a down payment of $1,000. The original house was built by Bill Douglas's father, and the foundation was from stones uh, taken from the old overhead bridge in Shelby. The lot behind the house uh, was also owned by my father and served as a softball field for the neighborhood kids for a number of years. There was also a small hill behind the house and in the winter time we were able to ski down into the field which at that time was empty. The city would also close West Street beside the house on Marvin during the winter and a lot of the kids just sled down the street we were also known to hitch rides on the back of car bumpers coming up and down the uh, street. Dr. Price died at, of a heart attack in 1942 at the age of father, uh, 42. My father was killed as a result of an auto accident in 1950. He was attending an OB course in Boston and was driving back to Westfield, Mass. to see his mother had an accident with a semi-truck he lived several days, but had a ruptured diaphragm and other severe injuries. My mother and I were there before he died, as were most of the other family members. My sister presently lives in Oakwood uh, and has lived there for 50 plus years. My other sister Eileen lives in Elyria. You can pause now.